On Tuesday, we released a two minute Tuesday about push sticks and feather boards. Now there's about 16 videos on YouTube that the title is the best push stick ever, but I think this is tied for 16th for best push stick ever. Uh, it's one of my favorites because not only does it work like a regular push stick, but you can flip it over and use it just like one of these guys. So when you're doing like I showed in my push stick video, when you're holding your board down and against the fence and pushing forward, you can make two of these and it's great. So we're gonna make a couple of these right now. Mine's pretty chewed up. Uh, this is my friend Drew Fisher's design, uh, which he did. He's got free plans for these. I also have free plans for mine. They're linked down below uh, in both metric and imperial. So you can print these out full size and just stick them to a piece of wood if you want to and cut it out by following the lines or you can use the measurements on it. It's really easy. So let me show you how we make these. We're gonna start by dimensioning our pieces of wood down to, I uh, can't read metric, so we'll read it in imperial. I'm just kidding. Uh, eight inches by three and a half inches, and then we're gonna cut off a quarter inch strip that's gonna be the back heel. Okay, now I'm gonna cut these out and just put them on my little blocks here. You can see they fit perfectly. Again, the size isn't really that important on this. So if you wanna do my size, you can. Uh, but this corner right here is 45 degrees. So you kinda wanna make sure that corner gets lined up. And then you just center punch these holes, inch and a quarter Forstner bit. This is a 45 degree. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna cut it with a handsaw roughly and stick them on there. So. Uh, whether you're using the Imperial or Metric, you just want to cut them out with a ruler and put them on your blocks. All right, so now we're gonna finish these up and you're gonna need to peel off your stuff and give it a little sand so you don't have any sticky stuff on there. Guys, out of the gutter. Now, the strip that we ripped off that was from an offcut is great because it's the exact same thickness, but you do need to remember that that's end grain to a long grain glue up. You only want about a quarter inch sticking out because if it's too long, you're gonna get a weird hump when you're trying to use a push stick with thin pieces on the table saw. So I leave about a quarter inch off and a great way to attach these would be a couple finish nails uh, or pin nailer if you have it. We're gonna flush trim this off. Uh, and here's an awesome little trick that I love to attach things quickly and not have to wait around for clamps, is you just add a couple little dabs of super glue along with your wood glue, which allows it to have the same strength as wood glue, but cure as fast as super glue. So I'm just gonna use my bench to make those even and not worry about it. And we're gonna leave about a quarter inch of overhang, spray a little accelerator in there. This is that Tay Tools super glue that smells so good. So I'm just gonna let that dry, throw a couple pin nails in there. And if you have a saw stop, you wanna make sure that they're high enough that you're not gonna ever hit them. And when this wears off, then you can just glue another piece to the back of that. You can flush trim it there. Let's get these finished up. All right, so we're done. I threw a little walnut oil in there because I could not get my shellac open. For some reason it had frozen to the top and I tried really hard and we couldn't do it. So walnut oil it is on some walnut. Uh, these are great, took about, I don't know, 20 minutes to put together with filming and they work great. Let me show you how they work, but I'll tell you first because obviously I can't talk over my table saw. You can use them in either direction. So you hold your piece against the fence like this, which negates having to have a feather board, and then you push with the other. Uh, you can do it like this, 
or like this, depending on the size of your piece. If you had a wider piece, you'd probably want to go this way. A uh, thinner piece, like I'm going to show you, you would maybe have it on the table. And that's why that 45 degree cut is so great because it allows you to keep your hand at sort of the normal way that you would hold your hand so we don't get carpal tunnel. I don't know if woodworkers get carpal tunnel. But let me show you. Don't forget to head over to my website, grab those free plans, both metric and imperial. It'll probably be one file, so you'll have to, it's a raw file, you have to decompress it, but uh, it'll have both in there. If you want to support the channel, please pick up something from the Cat's Moses store, like one of my new aprons, a dovetail jig, or a stop block. Stay safe in the shop. Let me show you how with these push sticks.